So Josh, tell us about App Apkudo as a company and then how your new announcement today, Apkudo for Accessories, uh, builds on your existing product line. Absolutely. So what Apkudo does as a company is assess the user experience of Android devices. Uh, we've been around for about three years now. We have agreements in place with every manufacturer that sells in the United States. There's about 50 carriers that have mandated us, so they, they will not buy an Android device from anyone, any manufacturer or distributor, unless it comes to us to get what we call Apkudo approved first. Now what we've been traditionally doing there is assessing that user experience of the device, in obviously in the context of network. Devices aren't experienced in a vacuum, they're experienced in, in a network, so we assess it in, in, in a variety of, of network scenarios that are best suited to, to the carrier. Um, and a big part of what we're doing there is assessing it uh, in the context of real-world application workloads. So we take thousands of Android applications, execute it in an automated manner on the device in a way that's very close to what the user actually uses, gather metrics and information and data um, and intelligence uh, from uh, from that, those, that metric gathering into how the consumers are actually going to perceive that device. Now how accessories improves on that is because we're the guys that are, are able to very objectively and very deeply characterize for the manufacturer, the distributor and the carrier, the user experience of that device, the intuition is that because the accessory can dramatically impact uh, that, that, that user experience, we're also the guys that can tell you exactly what that level of impact is. Um, so again, if you focus on, a, on a, 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 some, something as simple as a, as a screen cover, um, we're already the guys that are assessing the quality of the touch screen and the display and the audio quality of the device. We're now reassessing it with those accessories in place uh, and, and providing that objective comparative analysis to determine the impact. Is that done in the lab to set benchmarks and then do you go out in the field and run those same p test patterns to, s to benchmark and compare the two? Um? The, the, holistically, everything we do right now is in, in the lab um, and there's, there's uh, a number of advantages to that. Um, we have the ability to simulate uh, and emulate every network technology out there. We work closely with the carriers uh, to ensure that those, those simulations that we're, that we're uh, performing in the lab match very closely to the real world network scenarios. Benefits of being in the lab uh, is that we can do it in a fully automated manner. So within five days, we can execute around 25,000 apps on, on a series of five devices, gather about five million data points in an objective, a consistent, and a reproducible manner in those lab scenarios, uh, which benefits the carrier in getting that objectivity, benefits the manufacturer as well, because we're the guys that can also help them reproduce the, the, the issue, and they don't have to wait till the device is out in the field and you get some anecdotal evidence from, from a customer that they have some problem. Final question, where are you headquartered and where's your lab and, and tell us about the um, funding and formation of the company. Absolutely, so we actually started in, in Australia a few years ago as a spin out from an educational institution there called NICTA, National ICT Australia. Uh, NICTA has a division called ERTOS, the Embedded in Real-Time Operating Systems Research Unit, uh, which has been for the last nine or 10 years at the, at the forefront of operating systems research. A lot of that focused around Android as an operating system. So we spun out of there a few years ago uh, to launch out CUDA to focus on bringing that technology, which is able to objectively assess user experience to, to the market. Um, launched that in the United States uh, shortly thereafter. So we're now headquartered in, in Baltimore, Maryland. And that's where our main execution lab is. We still maintain an office in Australia. Uh, uh, it's an R&D office, kind of big R, little d, big focus on, on, on research, um, uh, which is working wonderfully for us. Um, funding perspective, we've been self-funded from the beginning. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, we, we take a kind of non-traditional approach to, to kind of the traditional startup ecosystem, techn technology ecosystem in the United States, and that we focus very early on providing direct value to a, a core customer base and growing organically from, from there, and that's served us well. So. Josh, thanks for the time. We look forward to seeing you on the panel tomorrow. Thanks so much. Cheers.